And you know, it's that time of the week. It's time for Currency Matters uh, with Sean Beecher, who is the senior analyst of Market Traders Institute, and he's one of the top guys in the world for Forex. Sean, welcome to the George Jargacy Show. Thank you, George. How are you? Fantastic. I, I'd like you to give our, our listeners a little bit of an overview. I know a lot's going on around the world, um, but I want you to give them a little bit of an overview of what's happened since the last time you were on the show last week uh, about what's going on in currency markets uh, ar around the world. Sure, no problem. Um, uh, number one big thing is that uh, more bad news out of Europe. I mean, it's just, again, a consistent more of the same. Uh, they come out with their unemployment numbers today. Uh, it's a 15-year high. They're at 10.9% unemployment. So long story short, more bad news out of the euro. Uh, actually, I'm looking at my positions right now. I've got a couple open positions in the euro. Doing extremely well, a great opportunity to short the euro. Uh, another big one is... Uh, Inventories soared to the highest level in 21 years for crude oil. Now, I, I've been listening. I'm an avid listener of the show. And one of the things that I've been listening to is, you know, again, it doesn't make sense for us to have the oil prices where we are when our inventories numbers are released today. And you see a 21-year high as far as the amount of, of, of oil that we have in inventory. Uh, so this is something else that I think uh, you're really going to see start panning out, uh, not only in the currency market, but also in a lot of the different commodities that are at play out there. Uh, last one is this, and this is a big one. We talked about this last week. Uh, four Fed policymakers come out today and state again, and it, it seems like every time the wind changes direction, the Fed makes a different statement. But four Fed policymakers come out today and just simply say, no need for additional quantitative easing. And uh, what this really means is, again, uh, while things are slowing down in the equity market, you know, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago, but while we are getting that slowdown in the equity market, really some huge opportunity to really be in some safe haven, long dollar positions as a currency trader. Well, you know what that tells me? One of the things you just said with the oil inventories is that doesn't tell me uh, that we're not going to have inflation or not have economic problems. It actually, to me, says quite the opposite. It's, it says to me that... Uh, people are pulling in the reins, and the growth uh, that you're reading about in the papers that they're trying to convince you is happening is not happening. Uh, when people, when you know, when when belts tighten, uh, they they ride with somebody to work. Uh, they don't take that extra trip. Uh, you know, they don't take that flight, which you know, which lowers uh, uh, consumption. Uh, and that tells you know that to me is a very negative sign. You know, you've got a lot of the Kinsey and Kinsey and people out there saying, well, we can grow our way out of this. We're about to do it. We're on our way up, onward and upward. And that's not what's, that's not the environment we're in. And, and that's, uh, that's it. It's not like the world found a bunch more oil uh, last <laughs> month. Right. Uh, now, America and oil men have done a great job at, at increasing our oil uh, reserves here. Uh, and even with one arm tied behind their back by the government, uh, have done great things out in western United States. Uh, but uh, but don't take, you know, that uh, I want our listeners not to take the fact that uh, those oil inventories are high as a good thing. To me, sure. that's and actually, that, you're, you're that they're not consuming. Right. No, no, and you're, and you're absolutely right. Exactly what you're saying is the case. This is actually a sign of bad news. Uh, and, and just like you said, you know, often economists will say, look, if you want to give a, an American citizen immediate tax break, you just – it, you know, affect the price of oil. It's the most effective way to put money back into a U.S. citizen's pockets is by affecting the price of oil. And and you're absolutely right in that statement. You know, when these inventories hit these high levels, yes, that does mean that the prices should come down. But what you got to realize is it means that consumption is coming down pretty dramatically as well. And what's ironic is our consumption is coming down. Imagine what it's doing in countries like Spain with a 30% unemployment rate or the United Kingdom with a 10.4% unemployment rate or Europe as a whole with an overall 10.9% unemployment rate. So you're absolutely right. Oh, yeah. They're, they're mowing and joing it, right? And they're they're, they're <laughs> on the scooters and bicycles. You know, the yeah. thing is, I, you know, you've got your book, The Ten Keys to Successful Trading. You know, I, one thing I found interesting about what Market Traders Institute does uh, is is uh, this way of looking at things. And one thing, as you get these early um, traders, you find there are mistakes that they make. Uh, and in this book, The Ten Keys to Successful Trading, you talk about some of those mistakes. But uh, give me an idea of one common mistake uh, that early traders make uh, that, uh, that uh, you guys try to teach them around that and, and to avoid that. Yeah, great question. One of the one of the most common mistakes, and I think uh, 
you know, I think you can even take the date stamp off of it. It's not just new traders. It's, it's existing traders. It's seasoned traders. It's veteran traders. I think the number one thing that, that educating yourself does is it allows you to kind of remove some of the emotion from the trading decision process. You know, the more you're educated, the more you trust in what you've learned, the more you understand the facts behind it, and the easier it is for you to buy into emotionally separating yourself from a trade, not necessarily, uh, you know, uh, losing control when you're doing extremely well or when you're doing extremely poorly. I think that's one of the most common mistakes that a novice and, and even more experienced trader makes. Now, where Market Traders Institute helps to remove that from you, you know, any trader is willing to admit this. The two most common emotions that they, fe that they, that they feel are fear and greed. What, what Market Traders Institute does is through the course of educating you and making sure that you understand where your focus should be, it gives you the ability to, A, remove some of that fear. And when you remove that fear, one of the things that, that our traders tell us that they find very freeing is as soon as they're trading without fear, the greed actually subsides as well because they realize, hey, look, if this is a bad trade, I can just get myself out of this trade because you know what? There are going to be other opportunities. And if this is a good trade, you know, I'm okay with letting my profit run and, 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 and hitting a higher profit potential because, again, I realize that, hey, look, this might pull back a little bit before it finally does rally back up into my direction. Um, I, I would say those are the two big ones, uh, allowing emotions uh, to really affect them. And I guess it's really just one, but allowing your emotions to affect you and how fear and greed plays its role there. Well, listen, I really do appreciate the uh, Currency Matters segment of the show. Um, and uh, give uh, our listeners your website. Sure, absolutely. If you have more uh, or would like to get more information about Market Traders Institute, uh, what we do is we offer a completely complimentary free web presentation. You can sign up for it at www.markettraders.com. That's markettraders.com. All right, John Beecher, thank you so much for being on the show. We sure appreciate it, and we look forward to Currency Matters next week. 